Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I am Sunil Mirwani and today we will be doing this chapter called as Hormonal Coordination in Human. Now, let's see what is the role of pituitary in reproduction. Now, there are two hormones of pituitary that play an important role in human reproduction. Two hormones of pituitary play an important role in human reproduction. They are the FSH and LH, right? FSH and LH are gonadotropic hormones. which is written as GTH. They regulate they regulate the growth and development of gonads. Do you mean by gonads? Testes and ovaries. Right. Out of this, the FSH hormone stimulates FSH in males stimulates STs to produce Forms. Right? It stimulates the ovaries in females. Stimulates the ovaries in females to produce the ovarian. follicles and graphene follicles right the LH stimulates stimulates a uh, graphene follicle to release ovum right the LH in male stimulates LH in males stimulates leading cells to produce testosterone so that is the role of pituitary in reproduction now let us try to find out what are the hormones secreted by posterior pituitary we know that there are seven hormones secreted by anterior pituitary let us find out the hormones secreted by posterior pituitary. Now, 
Now the posterior pituitary uh, produces two hormones. Posterior pituitary produces two hormones. Right? They are first they are vaso and the oxy toxin these are the two hormones that are produced by the posterior pituitary right the vaso or it is also called as the ADH. ADH stands for anti diuretic hormone. Right? Now, what does this do? Vasopressin or anti diuretic hormone stimulates the renal tubules stimulates the renal tubules stimulates the renal tubules of the kidneys to reabsorb to reabsorb water Right? That is, it helps in retaining water in the body, and this is why it is called as anti diuresis. It helps in retaining, it helps in retaining water in body. which is called anti diuresis right deficiency of ADH deficiency of ADH leads to that is large amount of water is excreted out in the form of urine that is large amount of water is excreted out in the form of urine Right? This condition is called as diabetes insipidus. Right? The other hormone that is produced by posterior pituitary is oxytocin. Stimulates the contraction. Stimulates the contraction of smooth muscles. of uterus it stimulates the contraction of smooth muscles of the uterus during childbirth right 
Oxytocin stimulates the mammary glands. Stimulates the mammary glands. to secrete milk in lactate in lactating mothers right so those are the two hormones that are secreted by posterior pituitary now what is the importance of pituitary during uh, pituitary gland in pregnancy and childbirth importance of pituitary gland in pregnancy and childbirth The pituitary gland secretes prolactin and oxytocin which play an important role in pregnancy and childbirth. I can say that pituitary gland secretes prolactin and oxytocin which play an important role in pregnancy and childbirth childbirth right Prolactin stimulates the mammary glands to secrete milk. Prolactin stimulates the mammary glands. Glands to create milk after after part curation right it reduces the chance of pregnancy it reduces the chance of pregnancy right then during pregnancy it initiates the secretion of progesterone from corpus luteum to maintain pregnancy during pregnancy it initiates It initiates the secretion of progesterone from corpus luteum to maintain pregnancy. Then you have oxyto oxytocin stimulates oxytocin which stimulates stimulates the contraction of smooth muscles. Right. 
it stimulates the contraction of smooth mu muscles of uterus during childbirth. Of uterus during childbirth. Right? Then uh, it stimulates the mammary glands to secrete milk in lactating mothers. Creates memory glands in milk in secrete memory glands to secrete secretes of it stimulates it stimulates memory glands to secrete milk in lactating mothers right now <clears throat> let us see the target organs for various hormones which are the organs that they affect first growth hormone growth hormone is target organ I will make two columns here hormones and target organ and first growth hormone Target organ is bones and muscles. Then you have next is thyroid stimulating hormone TSH. Right? That's the thyroid gland. Next is Adrenocorticotropic hormone ACTH is cortex of adrenal gland. Next is FSH follicle stimulating hormone. It works on the gonads. Next is luteinizing hormone LH. Right? Is luteinizing hormone LH which works on the graphene follicle. In females. And intestinal cells in males. in males. Next, the LTH, that's your pleutotropic hormone or which is also called as the prolactin. It works on corpus luteum and mammary glands. Then you have the MSH that is melanocyte secreting hormones which works on meleno force of skin. Fine, do we get this thing here? Now <clears throat> let's see the thyroid hormones. Now in thyroid there are three hormones that are secreted, right? Thyroid secretes three hormones. Thyroid secretes three hormones. They are
the try io do i do pyro 9 the try i do pyro 9 which is also called as p3 second is the tetra i do pyro 9 which is called as p4 and the third is calci tonin so these are the three hormones that are secreted by the thyroid gland right i can say that p3 and p4 hormones hormones collectively are called as p3 and p4 hormones collect Collectively, are called as thyroglobulins. Right under the influence of TSH, thyroglobulin. Under the influence. TSH thyroglobulin breaks up into T3 and T4 which are released into the blood stream thyroglobulin breaks up into T3 and T4 which are released into the blood stream Now, the effect of T3 and T4 are similar. Normally, both the hormones perform the following functions. The effect of T3 and T4 are similar. Right? Both the hormones perform the following functions. Perform the following functions. First, they regulate physical, mental, and reproductive growth in human. Regulate physical, mental, and reproductive. growth in humans right second they increase the metabolic rate and oxygen consumption of cell they increase metabolic rate and oxygen consumption oxygen consumption of cells third they increase the rate of protein synthesis they increase rate of protein synthesis right next they increase the absorption of glucose and convert it into glycogen they increase the absorption of glucose and convert it into glycogen next they degrade fat to decrease blood cholesterol they degrade fats 
to decrease blood cholesterol right next they increase heartbeat rate respiration rate and digestive secretion increase heartbeat rate respiration and digestive secretions fine and they play an important role in the process of metamorphosis of amphibian tadpole cells or the c cells secrete calcitoxin a polypeptide hormone so this was about the t3 and t4 next i can say that the para follicular cells which is also called as the c cells calcitoxin sorry calcitonin a polypeptide hormone right calcitonin regulates the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus that is it helps to deposit calcium in the bones calcitonin regulates the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus right high levels of calcium in the blood stimulates the production of calcitonin to reduce calcium level in the blood high level of calcium in blood stimulates the production stimulates the production of calcitonin to reduce calcium levels in the blood to reduce in blood fine uh calcium calcitonin reduces reabsorption of calcium from bones to blood and prevents hypercalcemia calcitonin reduces reabsorption reabsorption of calcium calcium from bones to blood and prevents hypercalcemia 
right? It also inhibits reabsorption of calcium in renal tubule to prevent hypercalcemia in blood. It also prevents reabsorption of calcium in the renal tubule to prevent hypercalcemia in the blood right so those were the hormones produced by thyroid now let us see what is hypothyroidism. What is hypothyroidism? Now, insufficient uh, or hypothyroidism of thyroid hormone is called as I can say that in sufficient or hyposecretion of thyroid hormone is called hypothyroidism so when you have less uh, thyroid hormone produced then that is called as hypothyroidism now effects of hypothyroidism in adults now what are the effects in adults it causes myxoderma which is a girl disease which is common in females happens in myxoderma uh, the patient shows low metabolic rate and low BP in myxoderma myxoderma patients show low metabolic rate and low BP right patients show lack of alertness and intelligence and gain weight patients show lack of alertness and in the gens and gain weight right uh, as I told you that they have low metabolic rate they also show a uh, slow heartbeat patients show no heartbeat, slow respiratory rate, slow respiratory rate, low body temperature, right? 
rough skin. and brittle hair. Right? So that's Mitso Edema. Right? This is in adults. Right? Next. Um, this was in adults. In children. How does it affect children? Um, it leads to a condition called as Causes cretinism. Right? Now, cretinism is congenital, that is, it is developed at birth. Causes cretinism, which is congenital. Right? Now, in cretinism, the growth of the child is stunned. In cretinism, growth of child is stunned. Stunted. Right? It causes sluggishness and mental age is below 10. It causes sluggish. and mental age is below 10 right it causes enlargement of belly it causes enlargement of belly Dry skin and hair. Dry skin and hair. And large tongue. Right? The mental development gets arrested and shows retarded sexual characters. Mental development gets arrested and shows shows retarded sexual characters right okay we will stop this here for the day thank you very much